What's up everybody, I'm Alec White with the Arizona Daily Star and you're watching a special Territorial Cup edition of the back page. We've got X Factors, a preview of the game, some analysis, and finally some predictions of how the big game on Friday is going to go. Head to head, the Wildcats lead the all-time series against the Sun Devils with 43 wins, 43 losses, and one tie. So they're gonna be aiming for their 50th win in this historic rivalry, but they're gonna do so as massive underdogs. The Sun Devils are favored by 11 and a half points in this game. That's a pretty big spread. As of Thursday, we still don't even know who Arizona's quarterback is going to be. Will it be Will Plummer, the freshman who's played the last two games for the Wildcats? Or is it gonna be Ganell? Can he return from the shoulder injury that he suffered in the first play against UCLA? Based on the 11 and a half point spread, Vegas seems to think that the Wildcats are gonna be starting their freshman quarterback, Will Plummer, again. But no matter who Arizona's quarterback is on Friday, they're going to need their best team performance of the season in order to pull off a win. I've outlined two players that I think could have big games in order for the Wildcats to pull off the upset. All right, let's take a look at two X factors in this game. The first is wide receiver Jamari Joyner. Flashback to last year, remember he had a big game against ASU in the Territorial Cup in Tempe. He had seven catches, 140 yards, and two touchdowns, by far his best game as an Arizona Wildcat. And so far in this season, we haven't really seen that same explosiveness. He had the great touchdown catch against USC in the first game, and really since then he's been quiet. Joyner is a big physical receiver, and with the ball in his hands, he's a threat to take it to the house anytime he touches the ball. The Wildcats are gonna need a big game from him and the rest of the wide receiver core, but Joyner especially. He knows who, how to attack the middle of the field where the Sun Devils could be vulnerable, and I expect the Wildcats to target Joyner and hope he can repeat his performance from last time. The other guy I'm keeping an eye on is kicker Lucas Haversick. Yeah, I know, special teams, it's not a sexy unit. Nobody thinks that special teams could play a big role, but trust me, you look at the history of this series and special teams and kicking have been huge. Just go back to 2018 when Josh Pollock missed a go-ahead game-winning field goal at the end. And then you go to last year when Haversick missed two field goals that could have made the game a lot closer in the fourth quarter when the Wildcats lost in Tempe. I'm expecting Haversick to be relied on, especially if there's red zone struggles like there have been in the past games for the Wildcats. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, prediction time. Can the Wildcats pull off an upset in Tucson this weekend? We broke it down on the Wildcaster podcast. Myself, Michael Lev, Justin Spears, and Ryan Finley all sat down and, and discussed whether or not the Wildcats had enough to pull off a big win over their rival. Take a look at that and uh, just be prepared. So guys, what do you guys think? Arizona, ASU, who wins, who covers? Um, I, I see the margin being in, right in that 9 to 10 point range uh, in the Sun Devils' favor. And I think the main reason um, that I like them is just you know, Arizona doesn't have the horses on defense especially to play that full 60-minute game that they need to play um, in, order to, in order to win. They're going to take that big 230-pound freshman running back, Chip Trainum. And they are just going to run it at Arizona repeatedly to see if they could stop it. And eventually the dam is going to break. So I'm going to take uh, Arizona to cover that 11 points, but they are not going to win the game. Uh, I'll go with a final score of uh, ASU 28, Arizona 20. Deep down, I mean, I don't think Arizona can beat anybody in their league with a freshman quarterback assuming Will Plummer is your quarterback. I don't think Arizona can beat anybody in the league with the, the way their defense has played against the run. Um, I cannot pick Arizona to win this game, um, but I can certainly pick Arizona to cover. I, I think it's going to be like yeah, 34-24, 37-27, something like that. So I know I, I gave some some hope, but I think the Sun Devils win this game and, and cover – I just don't see how Arizona is going to be able to, to put up enough points. Uh, the 11 and a half spread tells me that Vegas thinks Will Plummer starts this game. So, and if he does, I think the Sun Devils win 27-14. 
if Grant Canell plays, I think it could be closer, maybe a little bit more high scoring. But either way, I, I still think the Sun Devils find a way to win this one. So, man, this is tough. But I haven't been proven otherwise that Arizona could win a football game this year. So I'm not only going with, with ASU, but I think ASU is going to win 37 to 20. I got the Sun Devils winning by 17 points. So yeah, none of us are, are really expecting the Wildcats to win this one, but I'm hoping for a competitive game. You never know in these rivalry situations. There's something wacky that always happens every single year. I'm hoping we get one of those Again, even without the fans, it should still be a fun game to attend. You can catch all the action uh, on Friday on ESPN and follow along at the Wildcaster on Twitter. We're going to have updates all day long and content you won't want to miss. I'm Alec White. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.